Welcome back to another episode here, Anything That Moves. I just wanted to get into it real quick about Ethereum and what's going on with the SEC. Okay, so the SEC pushed back the date with BlackRock and Fidelity for the spot ETF approval. This is kind of common. It happens. So, you know, don't get so freaked out about it. So will it be made that it'll be approved or will it be later? It's happened. But since the Bitcoin spot ETF was approved before, everybody feels with confidence, and especially since BlackRock is doing it, they usually always get their stuff approved. Okay. So it's pushed back. Okay. So March filings are right. We have a little pushback here. All right. We, we know that. We know that. But let's go here. Ethereum is set to outperform Bitcoin as the spot ETF. Okay. Narrative comes into play. Since everyone knows that Ethereum spot ETF is coming up later this year, they're buying into it. Of course, this is not financial advice, right? This is just for entertainment purposes. But we know that people know this is coming up. So will there be a run up? Okay. Will there be a run up going leading into that? Okay. So that's what we're thinking. Here we go. Ethereum to outperform Bitcoin, noting that the narrative surrounding that, the you know, the <clears throat> Ethereum ETF gains traction. So we know it's coming, right? So stay calm. And why am I kind of talking about Ethereum now? What did Bitcoin just do? Today is um, <clears throat> March 6th, okay? Bitcoin went up like that. It hit like a, like almost the top and then it came down a little hard and it's already trying to regain traction. But did Bitcoin already hit its top, okay? Well, Maybe it did, maybe it didn't. We don't know, but we what we do know is Ethereum didn't hit its top, okay? Ethereum still has room to run, okay? And Ethereum is still running. So like in general, okay, we had consolidated here. Ethereum made its move up. And now here it's a little sideways. This is on the weekly chart, all right? Let me just go over here real quick. Yearly chart, look how it went. Okay, when Bitcoin hit its almost top and came down, so did Ethereum, but... Like I said, when we look at the all time for Ethereum, okay, and we're talking about the, um, I'm talking about, on the chart right now, you're looking at Grayscale. Grayscale's um, ETF called ETHE, okay, so that's what we're looking at here. This is in the United States, that's its ETF for the uh, gray, Grayscale, okay, so it didn't hit its top here at all, okay, and then now I'm going to show you on the Ethereum. All right. I just wanted to switch over real quick to the Ethereum chart. So here we are in the Ethereum chart. Okay. Let me go to all time. Okay. So this is for the whole history of Ethereum. Look, we still have room. We still have room. So that's the good thing. I don't like to be really all the way at the top of Bitcoin because with Bitcoin, will Bitcoin keep going down to a correction? Or will it break through the resistance of the all-time high? You don't know. You're flipping a coin on that. Ethereum looks like we have a little bit more room to run, see? To go to its all-time high. And we have that catalyst that's drawing it higher. We know the spot ETF. So I wanted to go over that with you today. Hope you liked this uh, video. If you do, click like, please, and subscribe. Okay, I will be back with more things about anything that moves. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.